I greet you all in the wonderful and powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Craig of Preparing Your Soul Ministries. Today we're going to be focusing on the teaching, asking the big question, Did Jesus abolish His perfect law? How scary is this thought for all Christians? Jesus says the following, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and have done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Think about that. Allow that to soak into your mind tonight. Please understand that Jesus is not talking to non-believers. He's talking to Christians. He's talking to those who call him Lord, Lord, but they do not keep his law. They believe they can do all these things, cast out demons and set up many churches and do wondrous things in the name of Jesus Christ. But the one thing they don't have to do is keep his law. And he will say to you in judgment day, on judgment day, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Think about this and don't ignore the word of God. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testament of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. He has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Now we did ask you to think about this and we said don't ignore the word of God. So the big question is if the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, why would Jesus come in the flesh and then destroy or abolish that law? If the commandment of the Lord is pure, Why would Jesus destroy something that is pure? If he says that a good understanding have all those who do his commandments, is it only going to be for a certain time until Jesus comes and then destroy the same commandments that has to do with love? Jesus said in John 14 verse 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. Something doesn't add up. Something does not make sense according to what these ministers are preaching where they say do not keep the law of God. Now this is inspired by God and written by the second wisest man to walk this planet. Solomon writes, My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands for length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart. He says, My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and my law is the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers and write them on the tablet of your heart. So let's ask this question. If Solomon writes, inspired by God, says, Do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. Why is it that the ministers are preaching that we must forget the law and that we must not keep the commands? Something doesn't make sense. This, this things just keep, don't, keep not adding up. Based on the things that's being preached to us, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If we see in Proverbs chapter 7, verses 1 to 3, he says, he says, My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. He says, Keep my commands and live. He doesn't say, Keep my commands and die. He says, My Lord, as the apple of your eye. So either that this, these commands continued further, or we must not keep it any longer. But again, these scriptures don't agree with what the ministers are saying. Now, to conclude all of this, let us see what Jesus has to say about his law, the Ten Commandments. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy but to fulfill. For assuredly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law until all is fulfilled. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. And that's to end this all off. This is Jesus speaking in the flesh, confirming he didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets. We've just read out of the prophets and we've read out of the law. So clearly, nothing is going to pass from the law until heaven and earth pass away. We're still living in the old earth, therefore nothing is passing from his law. So we say thank God for this truth. Thank you that we can live according to his commandments and live Thank you for your time as well, and the Lord bless every single one of you.